A role model is a person whose behavior or successes can be emulated by others, especially by younger people. It is a person who is looked to by others as an example to be imitated. He or she is an exemplar or an idol to the younger ones. Whether we like it or not, slay queens such as Botebo Khotobejani, Doromongi Bo Inomurolong are role models to the South African young girls and boys. Role models must therefore do right in order for <coughs> them to influence the younger ones correctly. Welcome to my channel, All for Health with Jane. In this channel, we're talking anything that has to do with health, be it physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, financial, as well as relationships. Savings as one of the activities that helps to resolve issues of financial stress will be discussed in this channel so as to help each other to be able to manage our finances. In this video, we see Teb Khotobejani on her Instagram live advising her followers on how important it is to save and use their own money for traveling. She says the traveling is therapeutic and helps one to keep her mind busy rather than thinking of negative stuff. She advises them to sell anything as to raise funds themselves rather than depending on their boyfriends. She says they must spoil themselves, not wait for any other person to do that on their behalf. Let's watch this clip and carefully listen to her. It's traveling. So I'm going to tell you about my trip. What? For For what else? Uh. So, literally... Girls go on vacation waiting for a bay or a nigga to tell them on vacation. And to be honest with you, everywhere I've traveled is about how and who I know and where I know them from. This I'm going to get there to this whole thing about not having money. So right now I'm in Namibia, right? Okay, I came for hosting and then obviously... I needed a break after the horrible week I had last week. And um, I decided to come to Namibia. I got a hosting. I was hosting at a club here downtown, one. And when I got here, I stayed in a nice hotel. It was nice. It was booked by um, my manager slash friend now. So, so let me tell you how much a flight was. And let me shock you girls. Because... You go out to um, places like you go to Saints. You go, you have drinks, and you. The flight here was returned five thousand rand. So it wasn't expensive. It was five thousand rand for a flight. Accommodation, there's a lot of Airbnbs, and then we took a drive, which is you can go to Walvis Bay, where it's very, very nice. It feels like Dubai, like if you've been to Dubai, where there's a desert, it's like a desert where the desert meets the ocean. Um, yep, yeah, 5k for the flight, and then we went on a tour and the 4x4, and we drove on there, and then we did the sand dunes. and all in all, I'm staying in this amazing house. Obviously, I've got good context. I know a lot of nice people. But I'm staying in this amazing house. You guys could see it's an amazing bathroom. You saw the stairs. Beautiful house. It's my room in the house. I'm running a bath now. I'm going to take a bath. Here's my shower. All in all, instead of drinking shit, shit, shit tons of alcohol and not minding your business, you and your girlfriends should plan trips and go away. You and your girlfriends go away. Stay out of trouble. Meet new people. 
increase your mind, become like, you know. No, I'm not hosting in Wolves Bay tonight. There's no way to host in Wolves Bay. You know, um, yeah. So instead of Luna, I do not lifestyling, I busy more, I do not go to the shopping, I do not go to the one because I think I am not going to go to the one because I am married man, I am married boyfriend, I am married. There's options. Namibia is a two-hour flight, five thousand rand for the flight. You don't have to fly business class. It's a two-hour flight. It's not going to Cape Town. Get your hair. Go experience something. Go to the local bars. Enjoy yourself. You know, so I put in hosting and everything in one. That's what I do. That's what I do. So I think I just want to see like in life. Uh, oh, okay. So instead of this, the societies are all same. It's only the societies are traveling. So imagine if every three months you girls put in five thousand rand each, and then you plan a twenty thousand rand trip. Like for example, if you can go to Venda, you can go to Nandoni, go on Airbnb or go on thingy. You can catch a plane there. You can quad bike. You can do a girls trip and drive. You know, um, if it's not a girls trip, you can even go with Bay. Yeah, let's just say, like, let's say you guys do five k each for three months, and maybe there's five of you guys. Twenty five, twenty five, twenty five. That's a hundred and. That's oh okay. That's seventy five thousand. That's a very nice trip. That's a nice Airbnb. That's beautiful accommodation. Then you ask your boyfriend for pocket money, because that's what we all do. Ask your boyfriend for pocket money. Use some money that you saved up, and you can have two trips in different countries every year. By the time you in three years, you would have had six passport stamps, and you get to meet people from different like where we staying now. There's like different people from Spain, from you know. I'm not a travel agent, Cardi. Go on Airbnb, start inquiring. You guys are lazy. People should stop being lazy about traveling. Like, we're all in Cape Town, which I, I never do. I never follow the crowd. Like, in December, everybody, I've gone to Ghana many, many years ago. I've done all these other places. And I just try to discover new places every month. And it's really nice. There are no vaccination rules here in Namibia. It's just like taking a flight to Cape Town. It's two hours. And you go... And you have fun. But Stockfell could help. No, I said six people homegrown. Or 350 each and then the booking is going to be a lot No visa required. You got three fifty exactly. So you do three fifty for a year. My husband's a little owner. Oh, I've been to Ghana so many times. It's literally become my second home. I don't even have um need to book accommodation. Yeah, traveling is the best therapy, guys. I swear. Have I been to Tanzania? No, I haven't actually. I, I've never been to Tanzania. I've never been to Zanzibar. I can't believe my followers are girls that can't think about hustling. Then you guys must sell something. Um, buy like some makeup, keep your can stock, so you can triple your salary instead of just eating your salary. I travel alone, literally. Any time I feel like shit, my son is in boarding school. I have no responsibilities. I have my own house. I 
you know, I don't need to. Yes, exactly. How much daughter, how much money on daughter do you spend a month? If you spend less daughter on gossiping and actually took a hundred rand a week and actually saved it, you could even do Sun City, you can do Machalisburg, you could do different cities. You know, you get to just open your mind and you get to regroup and you you find that not everything is that terrible, guys. It's really worth it. I haven't been to Luanda. I want to go to Angola. Do maybe we, maybe we should all think about doing a traveling trip, um, a traveling society, and then you know, and then I'll figure out our trips because you guys are lazy. Think about traveling. Get off negative stuff. Look at how much better I look. Yeah, my weave is not looking the greatest. Will you come with us well, right? Ah, can you guys afford my hosting fee? Because I have to entertain you guys. Mm -mm, let's focus. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. We can do a city girls trip. I can do a city girls trip. Hey <laughs> Julia, how you are you how are you joining when you're in the bar? <laughs> Why must I come with? I'm on vacation. I don't care them. City girls trip in Uganda. Yes. Okay, we can do Uganda. She have a very good friend. Here. And you know what? You guys can meet like really interesting men. Like out here, we, you know, there's different kinds of guys and they are like, doing well for themselves they're not just waiting for tenders and like I was like city girls trip who's in for a city girls trip guys <laughs> Obana Chloe, Luna Bora will they give us money? You'll wait forever if you're waiting for a man to give you money. Sell something. Find something to sell. Have a passion. Make your own money a little bit. And then you'll get the right guy. You don't have to have a flat tummy, but you can buy a buffer. <laughs> we do only fans. A lot of you are sending out free videos. Do only fans. Selling something. And I'm not looking. One thing about this. Like what the boss bitches, like what the bitches that are gonna be telling us if you're on that vibe, no thank you. Ha, ha, ha. 
just always had, I'm a boss bitch, I just need a job. Let's see, let's go live with some of you all. I also enjoyed this word of advice. For a change, her followers are learning positive things from her rather than the fights and bullying that we see every week among the slay queens. The jealousy and competition that take place among them. Imagine how many young ones are copying from them the wrong things they are doing and saying publicly. Let's hope the other slay queens, Bodoro, Boino, they follow suit and do the same. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Please like this video, comment, and tell me how do you feel about Teboho Tobejani giving such words of wisdom. Please subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Bye for now. See you on my next video. Thank you so much. Love you.